what's up you guys so we're back on the road i'm in the van right now i'm reunited with tyler and my mom and i'm so excited tyler and i met up in tennessee because that's where we left off last and we started driving west to meet up with my mom near kansas city we are a little bit west of kansas city now and that's where we met up with my mom she was in arkansas anyways we are making our way towards colorado so we're really excited to go to colorado because the weather is going to be way more tolerable i think and it's also just a beautiful place for camping and we have never explored there so i'm really excited um we still have a long road ahead of us today last night we got a hotel because the night before we got such terrible sleep slept at a truck stop last night fell asleep pretty late because it was hot and then we woke up pretty early because it was hotter i just couldn't take it anymore so we're gonna hit the road it was kind of hard to drive tired so last night we crashed at a hotel and we all got some good sleep so we're ready for the another like eight hour drive that we have ahead of us i am so glad to be back in the van i had a really good time in la and tyler had a good time in washington i'm a little bit tired like just like groggy or something in kansas it's freaking hot too so we got to just keep going west and get some elevation and yeah so that's what's good we're bad parents because we've never watched Ed. I know, he's a dirty boy. It's the first day of July, which I really love once it's July because I feel like it's officially summer because being from Washington, the weather isn't usually good until July anyways. So I feel like we're officially in summer. Let's get it. Yeah. She's making me a sandwich. Not a real sandwich. A really good actual sandwich. Hit a bee stuck under the windshield wiper. <laughs> We've been hitting bigger bugs out in these parks. I also saw a snake when we were taking a walk. I almost stepped on a gray snake and I almost tripped as I was trying to escape from it. We made it to Colorado. We stopped at the gym and we worked out and then we showered. We drove up this crazy road to some free camping. A very small road, lots of muddy crevices and rocks everywhere. We're gonna catch some sleep and see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna catch some sleep. I was going to say catch some Z's and I was yeah. like, I don't want to say that. That's what it is. I know. So yesterday, as you guys saw, we drove from Boulder up to where we're camping now, which is just outside of the Rocky Mountain National Forest. Pretty sure that's what it's called. So we're gonna be camping here for at least one more night, and then I'm not really sure what we're doing after that. But today, I'm super excited because we're gonna go drive into the Rocky Mountain National Park. My mom's coming with us in our van, and we're gonna leave Bertha at the campsite. It's uh, somewhere I've always wanted to go, and hopefully it's not gonna be too crowded because it's, it's like July 3rd, so I think a lot of people are kind of on their vacation, so it's probably gonna be busy, but I think it'll be really cool nonetheless. Um, yeah, I don't really know. What else? Alright, we got the whole crew in Ed, and we're driving, I think it's just a short drive up to the National Park. I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day. So, it's gonna be a good time. Mom's wearing shoes. She hates it. My feet are confined. 
No, if I'm taking a right or left. I'm left. Left. But that's all I know. I'm taking a left. <laughs> Elevation right now is 11,700 feet and climbing. Woo! Noticed is you can talk really quiet up here and you can hear it really far. I guess because the air is so thin. You can hear everyone's conversations. Like from way over there. You can hear everyone. Even like the wheels going over there. Alright, so behind us there's like a big trail up to the top and we don't really want to do it because we're feeling kind of lazy. But we're gonna do it because we're all the way up here and we should. Do you want some of this for fuel? I do because okay. I didn't even see that. We got this Huckleberry dark chocolate bar. It's really big. So we'll have some of this and then hopefully we'll have some energy. It's like a Willy Wonka yeah. chocolate bar. It is, that's totally what I was it thinking. Looks like the um the whatchamacallit does affect me. The elevation? Yeah, like I feel a oh, little bit I'm winded. Pretty big hunk. That is a hunk. These are crazy. Oh, I just touched it on my nose. Oh, it has a nice flavor. Mm, definitely sweet and salty. That's good. Very flavorful, the Huckleberry. <laughs> like a commercial. I dig it. <laughs> we approve. Worked out my groin the other day way too hard. Well, we're going to loosen up. Okay, we're going to loosen up. Okay, we're going to loosen up. Slow and steady. How did that feel? So good. We made it. My heart's pounding for sure. How you doing? I'm winded. It's really weird. <laughs> we made it. 12,000 feet. Our ears hurt. Our hearts are pounding. We've got a headache. You know, I'm sharp mm. I mean, no, not to none of that phases me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not to yeah, complain. It's, it's just crazy. Okay. I am legitimately like, I just feel tired and like, meh now after doing that. We didn't like acclimate or anything, we just like, boom, 12,000 feet. So it's kind of interesting. But yeah, we're gonna go back down and catch some internet and stuff while we can before we go back to our campsite. And that's that's it. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what I made. It's bomb. Do you like it? Yeah. It's really good, if I do say so myself. This definitely makes it even better. The special hot sauce you got today. <laughs> Magnificent. What's your first take time, on lentils? Yeah, first time trying lentils. Yeah. Pretty good. They're so good. And um, if you've never really tried tell. them, eat them because they're really high in protein and probably other stuff. You know what's not good? What? That. Disaster. <laughs> For camping food, I feel like I've been killing it the last two nights. Last night's was amazing. What was it's it probably again? just because I don't ever cook, but we had ground chicken. What did we have? Oh, ground we had these black bean noodles. Yeah. And on top of it, ground chicken with marinara sauce and. That was know, really good. It was you really know what good. Extra good about it was the goat cheese. <clears throat> oh. True. And black bean, black bean noodles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have like over 100 grams of protein or something per bag. If, if you eat the whole bag, if yeah. You, yeah. If you just But I mean, go still in. 20 grams per person probably. It's really at good. At least. No, it's not what? That. <laughs> <laughs> that mess down there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's so nasty. What are they? We went in the gas station and the guy said to look on the side of the building. No. 
Oh. What There's are like those? a pile of them. Oh. What? Oh, oh, we're stepping in them. Okay. Well, we gotta I'll get out of here. I think we're in Illinois. We gotta go. If anybody knows what the hell those were, <laughs> or why they were doing what they were doing, please let us know in the comments, because we want to know. Like, eventually gets in the <laughs> Oh, and show, show what you got me. I, I got this little plant for Rachel. We're gonna Velcro him to the to up here, and he's got. He came with googly eyes on him <laughs> and everything. It's been. It's getting some big bugs lately. 